The work of evangelism is deeply rooted in discipleship. Let me say that again. The work of evangelism is deeply rooted in discipleship. Disciples, we who are disciples, we evangelize in order to make and to mature disciples. Jesus gave the Great Commission in Matthew 28, verses 16 to 20. Go therefore into all the world, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have taught you. Jesus gave the Great Commission to his disciples and told them to evangelize, to go into all the world in order to make more disciples. Disciples evangelize in order to produce more disciples. The goal of discipleship is to grow in our personal walk with Jesus Christ, but also to give witness to our faith by offering Christ to others. To bring people into an ever maturing relationship with Jesus Christ that they may come to know his saving love and purposes for their lives. Disciples make disciples. That's simple, it's basic, it's elementary, it's fundamental, it's formational. Disciples make disciples. Evangelism begins and ends in discipleship. Evangelism is the work of discipleship. Evangelism is the ministry of Christ in the world, and this spiritual work is ongoing and ever at work in the world, transforming people's lives. To be a disciple of Jesus Christ is to know the love and the calling of God and to assume the responsibility to evangelizing telling others that they are deeply loved and forgiven by God. Evangelistic discipleship is a personal walk, but what comes with it is a social responsibility. The mission of the church is to make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. Discipleship, my friends, is a process. It is a spiritual movement happening in our lives, a change of place and a change of posture and a change of position, a strategic shifting. People ought to know that you are a disciple. Evangelism, when we're doing the work of evangelism and when we're fully living into a life of discipleship, as we engage our neighbors and engage our communities and engage our culture, guess what happens, friends? The transformation not only happens for them, but the transformation happens for us because the Jesus in us can see the Jesus in them. And that's when the transformation happens. Evangelistic discipleship. It is a process of transformation. It is an intentional and spiritual journey of seeking to become more like Christ, but also an increasing desire to invite others into a relationship with Christ. But it's also growing in our capacity to love and serve our neighbors. The clarion call upon every Christian is to be a good follower. We are called to be a disciple first. We are called to follow Jesus. We lead others by being lead followers. To follow 
To be a disciple, to evangelize, to engage, is to be an agent of healing, peace, and transformation.